this video I'm going to be making it specifically for my M104 classes at IUK. We're going to take a look at inequalities that have unique type of solutions. All right, and this would be content coming from section 4-1. All right, now initially, um, if you're just not thinking and you start an inequality problem and you're trying to solve it, you're not necessarily going to know ahead of time that the, you're going to get one of these unique solutions, all right, because you're just going to start working it, and then once you work it out and you see what happens with the math, then you're going to realize that you're going to have one of these unique solutions. All right, so let's say we've got some inequality here. We're going to start working it out like we always do, so we're going to distribute that too. So we're going to have a 2x plus an 8 is greater than or equal to, no, I don't need that equal to part, just says greater to, greater than. Okay, so greater than 2x plus 3. Okay, so at this point, um, we generally move all of our x's to our, the left. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2x, and I'm going to subtract 2x. Well, 2x minus 2x on this side makes it fall out. All right, and if you pay attention over here, 2x minus 2x makes it fall out over here as well. So all of the x's just fell out of the equation. That's okay. I've got an 8 left on this side is greater than a 3 on this side. All right, now we can just look at that as a mathematical inequality. 8 is greater than 3. Yep, that's a true statement. Okay, so basically what that means is that... It doesn't matter what number I plug in for x, it's always going to give me a true statement. So my solutions for this inequality is going to be all real numbers. Any number on the number line I'm going to be able to place in for x, and it's still going to make this inequality true. All right, so my solution, we have a variety of different ways that we could do this. We could say, you know, all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. If I need to do it in interval notation, it would look like that. Um, I could also write the words all reals. Okay, some uh, people will even allow you to do the double R bar, all right, which is probably a pretty common um, math notation there. And then if you were going to do this on a number line, well, it's all real numbers, right? It's everything on that number line. So in other words, the entire number line would be shaded, okay? Because it's any number is going to work there. Okay, so there's the first unique solution. Okay, now on this one over here, let's say again, maybe you don't know, just glancing at it, you don't even think about it, you just start working these things out, so you're not going to anticipate it necessarily initially. I've got an x on both sides, so I would go, okay, I've got to subtract x from both sides, so minus x, minus x. All right, x take away x, the x is going to fall out again. x minus x, the x's are going to fall out. Okay, so you got the same thing on both sides of the equation. They're going to fall out like that. Um, again, left on the left-hand side, I've got a 7 is less than or equal to a negative 2. All right, well, again, that's just a numerical inequality. 7 less than or equal to negative 2. That is a false statement. That is not true. Okay, so if you end up with something like this, all right, basically what that means is, I can, am not going to be able to find a number to put in for x to ever make this true. I cannot, because every time it's going to result in that false statement. Okay, so the way we're going to write this solution out, a variety, again, a variety of different ways. Technically, I could do the, you know, empty set solution sign there. I could do brackets with nothing in it. All right, more commonly probably is just for people to write no solution. Okay, if um, I were going to try to place this on a number line, well, what would it look like? Basically, it's just going to be a blank number line, right? Because no number on this number line is going to be able to be plugged in to make that a true statement. Okay, so there would be no graph. I mean, it would be empty number line. So, um, just a real quick... Uh, short video here to show you the two unique solutions that you can hit, either all real numbers or no solution. And this will occur on occasion when you are solving your inequalities. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.